This is the follow-up to the lesson on using the gyro to control your turns. In this lesson, I'll show you how to use my blocks and variables to clean up your program, make it quicker to create, and easier to look through and adjust. I'm going to split this lesson into two parts. This part will focus on turns. The second part will include using the gyro straight program to increase your robot's accuracy and reduce the time it takes you to write your program. As you can see, I've already set the program up with my movement speed and movement motor set under when program starts, and I've created a when left button is pressed event and already created a set yaw angle to zero and a half a second wait. And then finally, I have the left turn and the right turn from the previous lesson already created and set up. My blocks allow you to create a single block to represent an entire stack of code. This means you write the code once, set it up as a my block, and then every time you drag that my block into your program, it will run the entire stack it represents. And you can create as many my blocks as you want. To create a my block, we're going to come over here to the block palette and scroll all the way down to my blocks and then click on the red my blocks tab. Under my blocks, all you'll see right now is a little box that says make a block. And when you click on it, you get a window that asks you to name a block. And I'm going to name my first block left turn and click save. When I do that, you'll see I have a little left turn block here in the block commands. And then I also in the program get this define left turn stack header that I need to use to define the left turn. And I'm gonna do that by just attaching it to my left turn stack. And so now, all I have to do is drag in this left turn box and it will run this stack that says left turn. To create the right turn my block, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna click on make a block again. This one, I'm gonna call right turn. And when I hit save, I again get the define right turn stack header that I'm going to attach to this stack. And now I also have a right turn block in my blocks that I can drag in to have the robot run this stack. And so now anytime I want the robot to make a left turn or a right turn, rather than copying this whole stack in or typing it in myself, I just have to drag in the my block and attach it. And so right now I've got a program where the robot will turn left once, then right, and then right again. To make this program look a little more interesting, we're going to come back up to movement. And I'm going to drag in a move forward for 10 centimeters block, but I'm going to change it to 40 centimeters. And then I'm going to copy it into the program a few times. So the robot can go straight for 40 centimeters, make a left turn, and then it can go straight for another 40 centimeters, make a right turn, and we'll have it go straight for 40 more centimeters, make one more right turn, and then finish off by going straight for another 40 centimeters. So let's see how this program works. Watch closely as I run this program again. Does the robot do what you expected it to do? Maybe not. The first left turn is 90 degrees, but the right turn is a full 180 degrees, and the second right turn never happens. This is because the program is not telling the robot to turn 90 degrees, but to turn to a certain heading on a 360 degree circle. The direction the robot is initially facing when the program starts is set to zero. The first left turn takes the robot to a heading of negative 90. To complete the right turn to positive 90, the robot must first travel 90 degrees back to zero, then go another 90 to get to positive 90 for a total of 180 degrees. The final turn never happens because the turn actually tells the robot to go to a position greater than 85. And since the robot is already at a position of about 90, that's greater than 85. So the robot skips that command and proceeds to the final straight. One of the drawbacks with the my blocks is they will only run exactly what is inside the stack. So right now, every left turn can only go to less than negative 85, which is about negative 90, 
and every right turn can only go to greater than positive 85, which is also about 90. This is where variables come in. A variable allows you to take a fixed value, like the negative 85 or positive 85 degree turns, and change them to whatever you want at any time. To make a variable, again, we're going to come over to the block palette and scroll all the way down again near the bottom, and right above my blocks is variables. And making variables is done the same way as you make a my block. You click on the make a variable blocks. It asks you to give it a name, and we're going to call this target angle because this is the angle I want the robot to turn to, and I'm going to hit OK. So after I do that, this window pops in, but if you just click on the arrows, it goes away. And you'll see I have a target angle pill that can be put into programs, and then the set target angle to and change target angle by blocks that I can drag into my code. So to use the variables now, rather than having my target angle set to negative 85 for the left turn, I'm going to set the turn angles in both of these programs to my target angle. And that means now in my program, I can drag in a set target angle right in front of the turn and tell the robot how far I want it to turn left or right. So for this first one, I am going to set it to negative 85 again by clicking in the zero and typing negative 85 so that the robot will run to negative 85, exit, and stop at about negative 90. And for the right turn, rather than doing a full 180 degrees, let's have it go back to about zero. And so again, I'm going to set the target angle right in front of this to, I want it to stop at zero. So remember, you want to set it up short. And since it's going from negative 90 back to zero, if we set the exit at about negative five, then it should start very close to zero. And then for the final right turn, let's send it back to the close to 90 degrees that we had the original right turn set by putting another target angle in here and setting it for positive 85. And now let's see how this program works different from the initial one. Initially, this may look a little confusing and like a little more work, but if you look at these two stacks, you should notice that they are telling the robot to do the exact same. The one on the left is using my blocks and the one on the right is using the full stacks that the my blocks replace. And you can see that the my blocks make your program shorter and easier to read and understand. This becomes even more noticeable when you create my blocks for other stacks like gyro straight or line following as well. And that will be the topic of the next lesson.